Please don't stop the, please don't stop the, please don't stop the music. YouTube Spider Zone here bringing another YouTube video and I apologize for uploading the past four or five days You know, it's been a little while since I've uploaded a YouTube video on my channel You know, I've been really sick lately. I've had a stuffy nose, stomach's hurting I have the runs, been on the toilet for like 20 minutes every day You know, it's just, it's the struggle out here, you know, I'm, I'm taking, I hate pills I mean, it's like I can take them easily, but I hate them at the same time like, it, it's, it's like a hate and love relationship, you know what I mean, guys? But what I'm going to be talking about today is COD Champs. Who won COD Champs? I'm not going to spoil it quite yet. I'm going to say it for the end of the video. But, you know, COD Champs this year was awesome. It was absolutely awesome. It was, there were so many upsets. It was upset after upset after upset. There were so many turns of an event. It was actually really, really, it was such a crazy event. It really was. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I really, really enjoyed myself. You know, I watched, every, I watched like, every single match except for... Like a two match the Friday because I was at school. You know, I really enjoyed COD Champs this year. I had, had a lot of fun watching it, and it was really, it was a really nice, it was really nice to watch. All right, so bracket play. You know, bracket bracket play wasn't too special. I didn't really. I mean, like I obviously enjoyed it, but there was no like crazy things happening in bracket play. Like there was in um, there you know, no crazy things happening in bracket play. Like there was in um, not bracket play. I meant there was uh, there was no crazy things in and group play like there was in bracket play. The bracket play was absolutely insane. There was so many crazy things in bracket play. There actually was. It was, but you know, group play, same. The teams that you would expect to, you know, get out, get into bracket play, got in bracket play. You know, they made that group play pretty easy, easily. Actually, you know, Optic won like every. They didn't drop up. I think they dropped like two maps. Uh, Phase Black dropped like no maps. Uh, Envy went 9-0 for group play. You know, all the teams that you expect to get out of group play and do amazing group play did an absolutely amazing group play. But bracket play is where all the all the chaotic stuff, all the havoc started happening. Freaking, it was absolutely crazy, and I enjoyed every bit of it. I really did. Except for, oh, man, all the Optic fans, though, they were just, they were crying their eyes out, dude. Like I've said before, you know, I'm not the biggest Optic dick rider, but I do like some Optic, you know, I like me some Optic, I love all the players in Optic, I love Krim, I love Formal, I love Skump, I love Nade Shots, but, uh, they didn't do too good this event, they lost to Nile in the first round of the winner's bracket, and bracket, <coughs> in bracket play, and, you know, that pretty much demoralized them, it really did, you know, it brought them down to a slump, and they, they ended up placing 7th place, and, you know, it, they that was their that's like Krim six worst placing. No, he placed top sixty at Nashville. So uh, that's actually a fun fact. Yeah, I'm just, I just remember that off the top of my head that he placed top sixty at Nashville. I'm actually proud of myself for remembering that. You know, then in seventh place, I gave a talk. Then in seventh place, you know, you got TK. The Optic actually beat um, beat TK for the in the consolation match for the extra ten thousand dollars. You know, Optic only won. I think they won thirty five thousand dollars. And you know, I mean, that's obviously a lot of money, but you know, that's not the placing they really wanted. You know, they they deserve first place honestly because they've won the past three tournaments. They win a bunch of online tournaments. You know, they're just an amazing team and all around. But like I was saying, you know, there were some crazy things in bracket play, like freaking Mind Freak. They're, that's an Australian team. That's not a North American team. You know, they they did they can't, they got like fifth place. That's awesome for an Australian team. That's freaking amazing. AR Automatic Reload. They are not the best team in the world. You know, they struggle online, but they got fifth place or something like that. You know, and then you got oh my gosh, I wanted Prophecy to win so bad. After Optic, I wanted Prophecy to win really bad. It's um. Mochilla, I love Mochilla. I said Mochilla. I meant Mochilla. Mochilla is like my favorite player. Then you got Classic, Ricky, and then you got Imbos. That's an awesome freaking team. And I think that I really wanted them to win, but they just came up a little short against Phase Red. And, you know, it was kind of sad. But Phase Red, oh my gosh, Phase Red got third. Then this was the most surprising thing. I wanted them to win so bad in the Grand Finals. Grand Finals, Denial Esports versus Team Revenge. Team Revenge. Have you ever seen them in uh, like in like top three in any single tournament in AW yet? No, you saw them 3-0 Optic uh, Orlando when Optic first like day one in pool play they got 6-0 uh, 6-0 like that was their thing in pool play. 
That was the only thing you saw about Team Revenge, and like Team Revenge is a nobody, but they play second in COD Champs, winning two hundred thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars each. That's insane. It's Vicento, Aqua, Nagafin, and uh, Remy. That's a freaking awesome team. I hope they can place well at other events too, but they came up short against Denial Esports, and Denial Esports is your grand final. I mean, is your Call of Duty Championship or Champions this year? You know, it's awesome. They all got four rings. You know, it's awesome. They got rings. They got the trophy. They got four hundred thousand dollars, hundred thousand dollars each to each player. You got Clayster, attached J Cap, and replays. You know, it's a freaking amazing team. You know, I think they're gonna pull out some championships too, and hopefully, and I think there's gonna be a lot of roster changes happening lately. And if there is, I'm gonna make some videos on it so you guys don't miss out on any of it. But if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up, follow me on Twitter, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, Girl Scout. Love you guys. Bye.